Maybe if he spends less time doing that and more time on the actual flying, he will be able to feel that he needs to have ADC filters off. John here, guys! And today we're talking about the ADC filters that you need to turn off on your radio. And this is old news. It's been out for so long. Uh, so long that in fact that I and a lot of other pilots out there missed it. Now, Yvonne reminded us uh, about six months ago that you needed to have that setting off. And I was going to make a video about it then, but I figured it was just common knowledge. Well, Powell Spikowski made a video saying that he turned it off and he couldn't even tell a difference. And that was shocking to me. So, was there any practical difference? Honestly, I'm not really sure. There were no practical groundbreaking difference. So if you want to confirm that your ADC filter settings are off as they should be, first thing you want to do is go to system, then page over to you get to the hardware section, then you just scroll down till you get to ADC filter right here. This should be unchecked. If it is checked, you have it on and you need to turn it off. Because this was the biggest difference of any one single setting I've ever had. Different than adding RPM filters, more of a difference than going from FR Sky to Crossfire. Uh, the latency difference there, like it was just ginormous. So let's go talk to our resident Betaflight developer and see what him and Mr. Nice have to say about it. Powell Spakowski, your favorite iNav developer. Yeah, my favorite iNav. He made a video saying that he turned off the ADC filter. And you couldn't tell the difference. So no, I, I had it on. Apparently, old news. I had it on for years, and I think you did too, right? Yeah. Well, you felt it. Yeah. 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 I feel like that was the biggest change to my quad, like more than any version of Beta Flight, more than going to Crossfire from the FR Sky. Yeah, like it's, it's really makes your signal like like you know RC signal that that your flight controller receives like way worse. In the protocol is the actual frame updates that we see. What's also important to recognize is the analog signal isn't this nice, smooth, perfect signal like this. So I know Johnny Five gonna put like a little panel, like a <laughs> Ivan, Ivan Beta Flight developer, but so I gotta say a disclaimer, I'm a very small Beta Flight developer, mainly configurator 10.8, which hasn't been released yet. And also, this is just my personal opinion, but <laughs> ADC filters, they, you have to have them off and uh, they just make you fly like, you know, if you have them off, it just benefits you, it benefits your quad, cooler motors, more smooth signal, like you'll figure out that you can do much more higher performance freestyle and uh, ray for racing, definitely off. He's an iNav developer, and is it true there's a beef between the iNav developers and the beta flight developers? It's like the Crips and the Bloods, right? Well. I, I don't know. Well, I guess there is a little bit of beef because for whatever reason, Pavel making conspiracy theory videos about why beta flight development slowed down. Maybe, maybe if he spends less time doing that and more time on the actual flying, he will be able to feel that he needs to have ADC filters off. <laughs> And maybe he'll be able to feel that his unicorn magic filters are like, you know, not, not doing that much of a difference. <laughs> but, well, that's true. But, he showed the flying, he showed the yeah. example flying. But when, sometimes when you see certain reviewers, their flying footage is floating in a field, in an empty yeah, field. Yeah. So yeah, you if you're just doing that, you might not notice it. But, but I but, noticed but, it. But to be honest, like the whole community should be very grateful for you know Pavel and his colleagues working on iNav. All these yeah. features like autonomous navigation, waypoints, flying, return to home. This is just amazing. So you know, not talking about that. That's true. So that's so good. I could yeah. feel it like trying to make smooth curves yeah. with it on. I was always yeah. micro adjusting. You can even just check like with Neil's, it off. Neil's uh, old uh, old uh, yeah. like DVR, yeah. where he, like I couldn't like I was thinking that I'm just better. Like why I'm so smooth is Neil is not so smooth. <laughs> you can see he's like he's always like you know he's doing a like you know he couldn't even fly straight good. He yeah. flies straight and his quad is always, always like this. like and I'm like just like lock your finger. What the heck? What the heck? Yeah. But <laughs> but when we figure out that he has ADC filters, so instantly yeah, instantly. it was a big difference. Um, where I. Felt it the most actually flying 
was in like uh, orbiting maneuvers yeah. Yeah. that I used to, and you can see it if you look at my DVR a bunch that I used to, and I could remember doing it in my yeah. thumbs, like this sort of ticking move to yes. get it to orbit that now I just like wrap around right. stuff exactly instantly. So like that's where I really felt it and could sense it the most in my stick inputs. But yeah, you could see it that I was almost always searching and I used to like uh, be hard on myself for why I was doing that and yeah. couldn't understand why. <laughs> and I yourself? thought I just, <laughs> I thought I just sucked. <laughs> Neil comes going like, Brandy, you gotta punish me. I am not so smooth <laughs> as you are. Like, like. <laughs> it's dangerous. It's dangerous. So yeah, definitely made uh, made a difference for me personally, for sure. All right, pal. So yeah. you gotta go faster, make tighter orbits. There you go. Not yeah. just flip but, 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 but thanks for your work on INAF. Yeah. Yes, thank you. And come to Costa Rica. <laughs> yes, yeah. come to Costa Rica. Y'all yeah. are going? Yeah. yeah, for sure. Dang. And I heard Costa Pavel Rica. was. I don't even know. Yeah, Costa Rica sounds like a like a nice country where you know at least Americans they they don't need to have visa to go there. I guess. I own an island off the coast of Costa Rica. I've leased it from the government, and I've spent the last five years setting up a kind of biological preserve. Really spectacular, spared no expense. Yeah. Oh. Russian people too, they don't need to get like... I didn't realize that. Maybe like That's European cool. people also don't need a visa to go there. Yeah, okay. just Costa check Rica, it out, Freedom Spec Championships. There will be like Minchin, Evan, like yeah. a bunch of... Us, well, and know. Sweeper from Europe, so fastest oh, nice. European lion, fastest oh. American pilot, fastest Asian pilot. And Dang. we're trying to get Thomas there too, so fastest kid from oh. Australia. February, Man, Costa Australia. Rica, yeah. Freedom Spec. Man, that's the showdown. Yeah. All right, guys, tune in for that. So this is all in good fun. We appreciate all of the iNav developments that Power puts out and the great tips, but we just had to say your noob is showing just a little bit if you really can't feel the difference with the ADC filters. Let me know in the comments if you feel the difference of those ADC filters. Did it make a big difference for me? Did you hear about this like five years ago when Project Blue Falcon made a video about it? Rest in peace, Project Blue Falcon. We all miss you. Thanks, guys.